Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss potentiometers, which are variable resistors. This resistor here is a fixed resistor. It has two leads, and in between those leads, there's a resistive material that resists the flow of current. This particular resistor is a 10,000 or 10K ohm resistor, and this is also a 10K resistor, but it's variable. So you can vary the resistance of this from 0 to 10K or 10,000 ohms. So let's quickly look at the schematic symbols for these two components. So with a fixed resistor, you have the symbol here, some squiggly lines, and two contacts, and some value R. In this case, this fixed resistor is a 10K ohm resistor, or 10,000 ohms. Now the symbol for potentiometer is similar to a resistor. It's the same symbol, except there's an additional contact. There's a third contact. So if you measure between here and here, you will have access to the full 10K ohms in this particular example. But if you measure from a different reference point, either from this side to the third contact or from this side to the third contact, you will have a percentage of the total 10K resistance you have available. So if you were to measure from this point as a reference to here, so you had, say, 1,000 ohms where you adjusted this knob on the potentiometer. If you adjusted this potentiometer and then measured from here to here so that you had 1,000 ohms, if you change your point of reference from here to here, you would find that you have the other 9,000 ohms, a total of 10,000. So when you change the center contact, depending on your point of reference, you're utilizing a certain percentage of this conductive material. So whatever, you point, whatever your point of reference is, whatever you measure, if it's not the total 10K, if you change your point of reference, you'll have the other uh, amount of resistance available to you that, will, that when added together will total this 10K. So when you're using the potentiometer as a variable resistor, you only use two contacts. And as this contact moves farther away from your point of reference, say this side here, you're utilizing more and more of that resistive material up to a maximum of 10,000 ohms. So if this is your point of reference, as this contact gets closer and closer to your point of reference, you have less of the resistive material between this contact and the point of reference, so you'll have less resistance. As it goes in the other direction, the farther away from your point of reference to eventually getting to here, you're then utilizing the full 10K resistance in this particular example. So if your contact eventually gets over to here and you have a voltage and a ground, you then have the full 10K resistance in between your voltage reference point and your ground. So since you have a voltage and a resistance, you're going to have current flowing through here. So as you can vary this resistance value, you can adjust the value of current flowing in this circuit by adjusting the potentiometer. Here I have the schematic of a simple series circuit that will simulate the action of a potentiometer. And with reference to my ground, I will be able to take a jumper and add or remove in 1K ohm increments, 
these resistors. And since it's a series circuit, when I add more resistance with the jumper, the current will re reduce and the intensity of the LED will change. So I have 5 volts through a 220 ohm resistor through an LED and then I have these 10 individual 1K resistors that I will be able to add or remove from the circuit and either increase or decrease the amount of current thus increasing and decreasing the intensity of the LED. So I've already breadboarded that circuit up. Now let's take a look at it in action. So here's a circuit that's going to simulate the action of potentiometer. I've got a current meter here in series, so it'll measure the current. And here's my jumper that's going to allow me to increase or decrease the number of 1K resistors in this circuit. So if I start at this end, I'll have the total of 10 1K resistors for a total of 10K. And here you can see it's barely noticeable, the LED lighting. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me... Can you see that at all? Barely noticeable. And I'll slowly decrease the amount of resistance. So that's 10K. That's 9K. And you can see we've got um, 0.36 milliamps. Let's see here, this is 8K. Seven K, the current. Oh, you can't see the current there. Is the current? Is six K? Can see the LEDs lighting up a little bit more intense. Is five K half value of total resistance? is 4 3 now we're up to 1 milliamp is 2k total in the circuit 1K and we're up to 2.7 milliamps and now just with the 220 ohm resistor and that's the most intense so let me turn this light off here and as we go in the opposite direction and start incrementing incrementally adding more resistance in 1k uh, increments you'll see the intensity reduces and the current so we're at a total here of 13.19 milliamps with just the 5 volts across the 220 ohm resistor and the LED to ground now we're going to add a thousand ohms and we're down to 2.7 milliamps. We're going to add 2,000 ohms down to 1.56 milliamps, add 3,000 ohms, almost a little over 1 milliamp, 4,000 and you can see the LED is getting dimmer or under a milliamp 5000 0.6 and so forth 7 
8 actually that's 8 down to 0.4 9 It's still it's is discernible, it's still lighting. You can still see it's lit and here's the full 10k. So that simulates the action of a potentiometer. So let's look at the same circuit with a potentiometer, a 10k potentiometer. So you can see here we have a lot simpler circuit. We've gotten rid of the 10 individual 1K ohm resistors and we just have this 10K potentiometer and by adjusting the value here we can increase and decrease the amount of current flowing through the circuit thus increasing and decreasing the intensity of the LED. So we have a maximum here of 13 milliamps when we have zero ohms on the potentiometer. And if we adjust this up to 10k ohms, we have the least intense, least intensity on the LED and we're down to 0.34 milliamps. So that explains how a potentiometer is used uh, as a variable resistor to control the flow of current in a circuit. If you found this video interesting, please like and or subscribe. And thanks for watching.